In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NFL game happening on August 1, 2024, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game, so two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NFL game after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Houston Texans vs. Chicago Bears After nearly six months of the offseason, the 2024 NFL season kicks off with an interconference showdown to open preseason action. The Houston Texans will travel to face the Chicago Bears in the Hall of Fame game in Canton, Ohio, on Thursday night. Houston ended the 2023 season with a 10-7 record, clinching the American Football Conference South title for the first time since 2019. They dominated Cleveland in the wild card round but were eliminated by Baltimore in the American Football Conference Divisional Playoff. Meanwhile, Chicago concluded last season with a 7-10 record, finishing tied for third in the National Football Conference North and missing the playoffs for the third consecutive year. The last preseason meeting between these teams was over a decade ago, with the Bears narrowly winning 20-19 on August 11, 2007. The Houston Texans emerged as one of the NFL's surprise teams in 2023, thanks to the efforts of rookie head coach D'Amico Ryans and rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud. Ryans and Stroud exceeded expectations, leading the the team to a playoff run and securing the American Football Conference South Division title with a 10-7 record. Stroud was named Offensive Rookie of the Year, establishing himself as the Texans franchise quarterback for the foreseeable future. Ryans, a former NFL linebacker, validated the team's investment in him after his tenure with the 49ers coaching staff. He revitalized the Texans' defense and provided a steadying influence for Stroud in his debut season against NFL defenses. The Texans were active during the offseason, focusing on bolstering their offense to support Stroud. Their most significant acquisition was star wide receiver Stefan Diggs in a major trade with the Bills. Diggs immediately enhances Stroud's receiving options, joining an already strong group led by Nico Collins and Tank Dell. The Texans also added veteran running back Joe Mixon, formerly of the Bengals, who brings toughness, a goal line presence, and Super Bowl experience to the young squad. On the defensive side, the Texans feature rising star defensive end Will Anderson Jr., who is entering his second second season with the potential to become one of the NFL's top edge rushers. The Texans also strengthened their secondary by drafting cornerback Camry Lassiter from Georgia in the second round and safety Callan Bullock from USC in the third round. These additions join a secondary that showed inconsistency last year but includes promising talent like cornerback Derek Stingley Jr. It's unlikely that the Texans' key players will see any action in Thursday night's game in Canton. The focus will be on the backup quarterback position, with three quarterbacks, David Mills, Case Keenum, and Tim Boyle competing for the backup spots behind Stroud. Mills likely has an edge due to his familiarity with the Texans' system, although Keenum's experience with the offense and NFL success could also play a role. Boyle is expected to see significant action, given his more uncertain position among the three quarterbacks. Additionally, backups such as running backs Jahar Jordan and Dare Ogunboyle and wide receivers John Mechie three and Ben Skaronik will likely get ample playing time. The Texans will also showcase various free agent signings and defensive backups on Thursday. Matt Everfluss enters his third year as head coach of the Chicago Bears, facing considerable pressure. Everfluss begins the season with a new quarterback and heightened expectations for a team that won seven games last year and demonstrated signs of improvement. Caleb Williams, the NFL's number one overall pick and the 2022 Heisman Trophy winner, will take over as quarterback following the departure of Justin Fields. The Bears hope Williams will ignite the team similarly to how Stroud did for the Texans last year. Williams will not be without support, as the Bears have strengthened their skill positions by adding running back Dondre Swift, wide receiver Keenan Allen, and fellow first-round pick wide receiver Rome Odins from Washington. The Bears have effectively committed to Williams as the starter from the beginning. Defensively, the Bears will be led by defensive end Montez Sweat, who was acquired in a midseason trade with the Commanders and quickly became a disruptive force on the defensive line. They also added Brian Coward from the Patriots to bolster their interior defense. 
The Bears' linebacking core is headlined by Tremaine Edmonds. While the secondary remains solid but not exceptional, the primary focus will be on Sweat's performance and his ability to disrupt opposing offenses. Like the Texans, the Bears are not expected to play their starters on Thursday night. The backup quarterbacks for Chicago include Tyson Bagent, Brett Ripien, and Austin Reed. Bagent, who played in five games as a rookie last season, has the most experience with the Bears' offense and will face competition for the backup role, primarily from Ripien, who has some NFL experience. The Bears' skill players will also be rested, giving rookie free agents and veteran hopefuls a chance to showcase their talents. Running backs Roscon Johnson and Travis Homer, in particular, will be vying for a spot on the roster as reserve running backs. The Hall of Fame game is always intriguing because teams typically rest most of their starters, allowing third and fourth string players to make an impression. Chicago aims to improve this season with Williams, who has several talented targets, although they will likely be absent from Thursday game. In terms of depth, Houston appears to have a more robust roster with experienced players throughout. Mills and Keenum have more NFL experience than any quarterback Chicago will field, giving the Texans an edge. As both teams will bench most of their key players, the spotlight will be on the backups. The Texans' deeper quarterback room, with two quarterbacks familiar with the offense, should give them an advantage. Bears backup QB Bajant is also comfortable with the offense, but he may see limited action, making way for the other two backups early on. Another factor to consider is the track record of the head coaches. Ryans, in his second season, had the Texans playing hard last per season, finishing with a 2-1 record. I anticipate another strong effort from a Houston team eager to prove itself under Ryans in year two. Eberflus, who went undefeated in the preseason during his rookie year, saw a decline to 1-2 last year. His primary focus this preseason will be preparing Williams for the regular season, which means Williams is unlikely to play on Thursday, giving the Texans a significant advantage with their more experienced backups. In preseason games, the backup quarterback's performance is crucial. Trusting which players can move the ball and score in the final three quarters is essential. Unfortunately, I lack confidence in Bajant, Ripien, and Reed, who have limited NFL experience. Behind Stroud, the Texans have veterans Mills and Keenum, who have a combined 92 NFL starts. This experience is invaluable and should translate to success against second and third string defenses. Therefore, the Houston Texans to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Last per season, Houston stayed under the total in all three of their games. The Texans combined with the Patriots for 29 points, with the Dolphins for 31 points, and a total of 30 points against the Saints in their per season finale. Over the last three seasons, the Texans have a 7-2 record hitting the under in per season action. Conversely, the Bears went over the total in all three per season games last year, primarily due to defensive shortcomings that took half the season to address. The under has prevailed in eight of the last 15 Hall of Fame games. The weather forecast for Thursday night indicates temperatures in the high 80s, which could fatigue both teams in the second half. While both teams are expected to be explosive during the regular season, Thursday's game is unlikely to feature much offensive fireworks. With many starters sitting out and both teams still in the early stages of training camp, combined with the Bears' improved defensive performance in the latter half of last season and the overall defensive orientation of both teams, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.